Hi, Walter.
Welcome to our annual Remembrance Day ceremony. Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. How do I fix the lens?
choir will now sing Ana Niti Mati.
concert band will now play a few of yours. The choir will now sing, Will You Listen, written by Lori Ann Dolloff.
Through the last 110 years, many Canadian soldiers said goodbye to their schools. Sweethearts, parents, brothers and sisters who go off to war. They believed they were leaving the fight, leaving to fight the very things that kept their loved ones safe and happy. They left knowing this might be their last moments with home. Here is me to read the poem. This was my brother. This was my brother, a dip, quietly a hero who gave his life, like a gift, withholding nothing. His youth, his love, his enjoyment of being alive. His future, like a book, with half the pages still uncut. This was my brother, Adir, the one who built me a dollhouse when I was seven. Complete to the last small picture frame, nothing forgotten. He was awfully good at fixing things, at stepping into the breach when he was needed. That's what he did at Dieppe. He was needed, and even death must have been a little shame at his eagerness. The Inuksha concert band will not play water music.
in some of its fields, the poppy board between the crossroads, right. row on row, that work our place uh, and in the sky, the works still bravely sing, fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are dead. Short days ago we lived, sent dawn, sunk, sunset glow, left and live, and now we lie in Plunder's field. We go to our quarrel with the foot, to the to you from falling hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye shall drink with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Plunder's field. We will now hear the concert band perform fire dance. Thank you. 
soldiers made quick and deep friends with their comrades. They called each other brothers in arms. Many brothers were lost along the way, but they are not forgotten in our remembrance today. Now we will hear Katie Yu read the poem for the fallen, written by Robert Lawrence Binion. Robert Lawrence Binion. With proud thanksgiving, a mother for her children, the world mourns for the dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh they were, spirit of her spirit, fallen in the cause of the free. Solemn the drums thrill, death, august and royal, sing sorrow up into immortal spheres. Straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow, they were staunch to the end against odds and counted, they fell with their faces to the foe. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. They mingle not with their laughing comrades again. They sit no more with, at familiar tables of home. They have no lot in our labor of the daytime. They sleep beyond the world's foam. But where our desires are and our hopes were found, felt as a wellspring that is hidden from sight, to the innermost heart of their own land they are known, as the stars are known to the night. As the stars that shall be bright when we are dust, moving in marches upon the heavenly plain, as the stars that are starry in the time of our darkness, to the end, to the end, they remain. Thank you. Please watch this video about the remembrance, about what remembrance did. Sorry, excuse me. The choir will now sing. In it.
My name is Ulibak. In this video, I tell you and my English name is Mary Tati. I'm originally from Abbeet. My kids grew up in Rankin Inlet, and how proud I am since I found out more about Remembrance Day, because finding out where my grandfather Thomas Colton Carmichael was and how he survived the Beaumont Hamel. He's in the book called The, uh, the First Five Hundreds. They don't make that book anymore, but they have records of the military in uh, Newfoundland. So his picture and a picture of my oldest brother, George, are like twins, because my brother was RCMP, and a picture of my grandfather with his outfit. George ever looks like our grandfather. So it's more like, Okay, what else is there? What else can I find out? So this book here, there's a picture of my grandpa. It shows you when he entered the military. So I got all his health, his date of birth, everything is in here. All the places he went to are all in here. So it really helped me feel close to him because I never met him, but on Remembrance Day, I always thank him for fighting freedom and thank him for being part of Canada. If it wasn't for him and the other people that fought for us, we wouldn't be here. So I've always wished that I knew more about him, but with the records I have of him and having his pins, his badges, and this one, is uh, it's like it's, it's a caribou one. Uh, it tells you that he was one of the first 500s that fought in Beaumont Hamel, and the people that survived were given a caribou pin. This come from England. I have a family friend that was in the uh, army for many many years, uh, over 40 years, and. He gave me this for my birthday. He wrote to me and said, I know you always want to know where you came from. So he went overboard and wrote to his friend in England and got me this pin because he knew that I wanted something that came from World War I, especially my grandfather surviving Beaumont Hamel uh, the, the war. And this was given to the ones that survived the uh, first 500 that went overseas and came back alive. I think out of the 500, I think 96 or 97 around there were survivors and my grandfather TC was one. So these things here are very sentimental to me um, and his records because like I said I wanted to know more about health um, and it's like I keep it dearly so my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren will know where we come from, and want them to remember, remember and stay. A representative from each grade and a representative from Inukshuk High School staff are asked to lay a wreath in solemn remembrance.
Mackenzie O'Dell will now read the poem, There Will Be Peace. There will be peace when attitudes change, when self-interest is seen as a part of common interest, when old wrongs, old scores, old mistakes are deleted from the account, when the aim becomes cooperation and mutual benefit, rather than revenge or seeking maximum personal or group gain, when justice and equality before the law becomes the basis of government, when basic freedoms exist, when leaders, political, religious, educational, and the police and media wholeheartedly embrace the concepts of justice, equality, freedom, tolerance, and reconciliation as a basis for renewal. When parents teach their children new ways to think about people, there will be peace. When enemies become fellow human beings. Grade 9 violin class will now play sad song.
We will now take a moment of silence so that each and every one of us can personally remember and thank those who fought and died for us. The moment of silence will be broken with the playing of the last post, after which we will have to leave the PC in silence. Please rise. Thank you. 